Yo, 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 Dr. Yo from ECA Wellness. So it's a beautiful day outside. Just got back from a sweaty run. And I wanted to share with you guys a text message I just got from my buddy Lee. And he says, hey man, I just bought a new fitness watch and I saw it had a bright green light on the back of it. You know anything about it? LOL. Now, I'm not sure why he always writes LOL after every one of his sentences. So this guy will be like, hey, um, you want to grab dinner? LOL. Or, hey, what are you doing? Watching the ball game? LOL. Now, my understanding of LOL is it's laugh out loud, but I'm not really sure what grabbing dinner, what's so funny about it. But before I answer Lee's question, I want to jump in the shower. And you guys check out the intro. So the green light in the back of Lee's watch is based on a technology called photoplethysmography, or PPG. PPG is a non-invasive way to measure health data and to give us biometrical information. It works by an optical sensor in your watch that shoots a light onto the surface of your skin. So when this light reaches your blood vessel, some of the light is reflected back to a photo detector on the watch. The intensity of light captures a waveform of the amount of blood in your blood vessel. So depending on the color of light used, you can analyze and capture different biometrics and waveforms. Since the depth of penetration of light is dependent on wavelength, Red light with a longer wavelength has increased depth of penetration than the shorter green light. Green light PPG technology is what the Apple Watch and Fitbit use to measure heart rate. But some trackers like Biostrap use red light PPG for more in-depth measurements. So which light is better at capturing health data? Well, it depends on what kind of data you're looking for. Green light PPG is resilient to motion. So it is great at measuring accurate heart rate during exercise. But there are drawbacks to green light PPG. One, it has a limited depth of penetration. So since blood vessels are thin at the wrist, any measurements you take at the wrist might be inaccurate. Number two, the limited depth of penetration also means a limitation on what you can measure. You're mostly limited to accurately measuring an active heart rate with a green light PPG. Number three, since green light is more absorbed by darker skin, tattoos, and freckles, these individuals have more inaccuracies in their measurements. So how does red light compare to green light? Well, red light PPG penetrates the skin 10 times deeper than green light. So what this means is you can get more clinically relevant data and also measure it at the wrist. Number two, since red light is transparent to your skin pigment melanin, Differences in skin color, freckles, and tattoos don't affect your measurements. But there are also drawbacks to red light. Red light PPG is extremely sensitive to motion and movement. So what this means is during exercise or any, any activity, what's going to happen is you're going to get inaccuracies in your readings. Number two, because red light is sensitive to environmental noise, data can only be captured every few minutes. So second-by-second second reading, such as active heart rate, can be difficult to record. So until the technology improves, where one light source can give us comprehensive, clinically accurate data, my recommendation is to utilize both light sources. At ECA Wellness, we're using a green light PPG active heart rate monitor and a red light PPG ECA BioStrap to give us clinically accurate biometric data. If you have any questions related to this topic, or you have a friend that also writes LOL after every sentence, send me a message down below in the comment section or drop me a message on ECA Wellness on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.